So the way it actually started was eight years ago, uh, my partner in the festival, Kevin Miller, he went to the New York Surf Film Festival and he thought, you know, I'd really like to bring something like this back home where I'm from here in Florida. And uh, he made, I think, 10 or 12 posters, put them up around New Smyrna Beach. I think he had over 100 folks show up that first night. I came that first night, I saw one of those posters I met with him the next day, you know, he said, I'd really like to keep doing this, but I need help, and you seem pretty excited about it, which I was, and so he agreed to bring me in as a co-founder. We've gone from doing that one movie, that one night, and now we do four events a year, three quarterly nights that are single night events, and then a big two night end of the year wrap up in November, and we expect four or 500 folks each night. For a while, actually, uh, surf movies kind of went away themselves, but it's had a full resurgence now, and so we just want to bring that cultural event back to our community. One of my favorite things about the festival, and I've seen it multiple times, is I'll see guys that I know can't stand each other in the water, but when they are here at the festival, they'll kind of bury the hatchet, and they'll be like, I've surfed with you for 20 years, I don't even know your name. And you'll see a little relationship form there and a friendship, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring back that cultural component to our community, and then secondly, we wanted to give some accolades to the filmmakers because they don't get any of the props. Um, usually it's the surfer in the film. And so we wanted to create an event where for at least for one night, we put that filmmaker up on the pedestal and everybody looks at him and gets to recognize him for his achievement and what he's done to, to bring our culture together. I love showing films made by local guys and gals, but we try to bring in filmmakers from all over the world. One of the films we're showing this weekend is by a Japanese filmmaker named Shin Aoki. One of the most important components of the festival for Kevin and I was to create a jury that had some clout. When our filmmakers get an award, they know like the leaders of the surf industry are who gave you that award. We have guys like David Lee Scales of Surf Splendor Podcast. Surfing is a community. These guys have done the most successful job of recreating that environment outside of the beach. So it's meaningful. A lot of these surf shops have been bought up by these big multinational corporations. But Dave's the last locally owned surf shop in town and Red Dog is our local surf shop for the community. Kevin and I went and talked to Dave after that first showing with barely an explanation. He was like, I'm in. We've sponsored it since its inception and it's kind of a good vibe fest. I love it. I think it definitely does like bring the whole local surf community together because there's nothing else really like it. They've been a huge supporter of what we do here and I uh, couldn't do it without them. Surfing is such an exciting thing. A lot of people view it as dangerous and, and reckless and difficult. And so it's always fun to watch people put their life on the line. At the end of the day, they're human interest stories. And that's fascinating no matter what. To be the one that gets to showcase that and bring it to the community to where they get to see it, um, that's a great feeling. Nothing beats that. Inside Central Florida, your source for events, theme park news, local eats, and more, streaming 24-7 on the WFTV Now app on your TV.